What up, what up, what's up? It's your man E. Gooden, live and direct in the heart of Inglewood, out here rocking with my girl Starla Quarles. Real talk, real people. It's about to go down, you guys. The dialogue, spirituality versus religion. Star Quarles off the hook. Controversy, it's going down. Real talk, real people. I'm your host, Starla Quarles, and I'm joined by my co-host Mr. Lewis Dix Jr. Who's the real Christian here? You're, not you. That's the co- <laughs> you gonna call me out I'm just messing with you. No, I'm We're good. talking about religion versus spirituality here on The Dialogue. Should we pray first? No, we should not pray. Let me introduce our guest here today, Mr. Steve Burt Esquire. He is the project manager with the Bedford Group. He's a Georgetown Law graduate. We have Mr. Eric Gooden, CEO TV. What's up, E. Good? What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> And the Gooden Group Berkeley graduate and entrepreneur. We have Mr. Ola Man Moore, who is an entrepreneur and IT consultant, South LA native. Hi, man. Hello. And last but certainly not least, we have Mr. Juan Rennie McDavid, teacher and coach at Jefferson High School, but he does so much with other kids, just other than Jefferson in terms of sports. So welcome, Rennie. I call him Rennie. How you doing? Tell me, you guys, your definition of religion versus spirituality. How do you consider the difference? Very controversial topic. (laughs) Yes, it is. Star choir on the dialogue. (laughs) It goes down. Religion, to me, seems like something very organized. It's Mm -hmm. something that's lasted forever, and it's, uh, you know, it's very strong. Spirituality seems to be something from within. It's energy. It's something you can't really put a definition on. I think it's more of just, you know, something from within. I would consider myself uh, a spiritual. Spiritual by far. I'll go along with what they both said. Um, religion, as far as being um, structured, I'll even take it a step further and say religion being more man-made. When I think of religion, I think of rules, breaking rules, following rules. And when I think of spirituality, no one can control that. We are a physical body, right. but we have a spirit, that unseen thing, that is my own, that's unique. That's what I think spirituality is. That's me and my creator. I don't I don't have to go outside myself. I don't have to go to a building to deal with my creator. Mm-hmm. That's what my spirituality is. My father is a preacher actually. Oh, okay. Or or was or something. You have he to was a preacher when you were growing up? Status. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was baptized at like eight years old when I didn't even know what I was talking about. I was like, yeah, I was signing up for that. The most liberating day of my life, religious wise, was when I was about nine and mom. Um, one of my aunts was telling my grandfather, like, hey, you know, John, you got to go to church. I mean, uh, Daddy, you got to go to church. And he said, uh, you know, he said, hey, the same man that built that church built this house. Same brick, same wood. Ain't no holier. <laughs> and if God is everywhere, he's in this house, too, in front of my television and my plates. I know? like that. And after that, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, man. My mother's a PK, a preacher's daughter. And Ooh, them, my father. Them the worst one. Yeah. PKs. <laughs> and that's very strict, um, uh, very strict religious people okay. can wear skirts above the knee, things like that. Mm-hmm. My father was in the uh, Yoruba beliefs, then he was Nation of Islam for a while. My mother, uh, they're both Christians now, ironically. They're both back to being Christians. But I, because of that, I've been one of those curious people, one of the, a truth seeker. I, um, I, up until high school, maybe my early 20s, I considered myself a Christian. I went to church regularly. Um, it's kind of confusing, though. They have all those different kind of religious influences growing oh, it up. It was. It was, which made me start seeking for myself. Okay. And the more I saw, the more, actually, the more confused I got. We did grow up in a very uh, Christian home, very disciplined, very committed. My mother definitely dove into the Word mm-hmm. every single day, 5 a.m. in the morning. We would have Bible study right. before we even made our beds, brushed our teeth, got ready for school. And this happened until I left the home. Mm. So since I was born to 18, that was kind of the environment. And my mother considered us to kind of be cut off from the world. She would always consider us to be peculiar. She would always say we live in the world, but we're not of the world. Remember you told me she gave you homie codes in high school so you wouldn't be cool? Right. Yes. (laughs) Yes, indeed. In high school, junior high, whatever was hot, whatever was it, my mother got me the opposite. She wanted to make sure I was not going. He was not in the world. I want to see some of my heaven, uh, some some blessings on this earth instead of waiting until I die. I don't want to see no pearly gates. It's not like Master P's house. Pearly gates and streets of gold and stuff like that. The gold is played out. Yeah, you know? I, I so what's up with the platinum streets? <laughs> you look like a Jehovah Witness. If I saw you, I would say, oh, she's Jehovah Witness. Why are you gonna like a Jehovah? She got that. Why is that? You don't even know what it looks like. That's why I'm just they throwing it out. They look holy. They look what? If you're in the Jehovah. See now, look. You just hit one. <laughs> 
It's probably one out there dancing right now. I can see my Jesus is my my homeboy T-shirt. Oh, okay. So you're a ghetto uh, Christian. Exactly. It's a lot of ghetto Christian people too. So what happened when you guys start questioning your beliefs and you start telling your family and friends that you started thinking different than how you were raised? 1460 AM every Wednesday from 5 to 6. We're streaming live on the web at ktym.com. So join us this month as we talk about religion versus spirituality on The Dialogue. Real talk, real people. Sponsors, Bedford Park, The Good and Group, Multimedia, Third Eye. Stay tuned. Make sure you check out the archived episodes. And we will be back next week, Wednesday, 5 p.m. Make sure you tune in. Until then, see you guys on The Dialogue. CEO TV is the business. CEO TV is the business.